everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio. These are my monology cards. I forgot what these are. <laughs> that I'm going to pull towards the end of this video. So please stay with me. Before I go on and tell you the relationship between alcohol and spirituality, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my links are in the description of this episode. So please feel free to contact me. At the same time, don't forget to pray for world peace. This world needs more healers, this world needs more loving creatures, this world needs more empathy, more love. So very often we see that people who are spiritual, they have a very negative connotation of alcohol. Now I don't, uh, like there, is, there are certain obvious facts that of course alcohol is not good for the brain, alcohol is not good for our health. It's not doing, you know, there's, there's no essential benefit to drinking alcohol. It's just an external substance that we use to mask our emotions and to escape the reality. So alcohol is, sub is a substance that, that people often consume to disconnect from the rest of the world. Whereas spirituality is an aspect of life where you understand that you and the entire world, your body, mind and spirit are all connected to one another. Now we all are very much aware of the negative impacts of alcohol. That yes, it, it does this and that and that and that, that and what not. But this knowledge of the negative impacts of alcohol often stops people from letting go of an addiction that is not good for them. So instead of promoting the negative impacts and you know, you know, being a little harsh onto people for, uh, who are maybe consuming an unhealthy quantity of alcohol, it's often better to be a little more understanding, to understand where that addiction comes from, when that addiction started and make people understand or help them make conscious choices of the quantity of alcohol they are consuming. So what I mean by that is that if you would like to help yourself or somebody else, it's always better to become more aware of how alcohol uh, begins to impact your body and how much alcohol begins to impact your mood in a very negative way. So instead of completely asking somebody to restrict it, it is also all right to maybe consume a less, uh, you know, or maybe consume some consciously lesser quantity of alcohol that is not as bad to your health and slowly reducing the quantity and making conscious choices of when it is okay to drink and when it is not okay to drink. Okay, so yeah, so I just felt like there was a lot of shame uh, in spirituality. When people start preaching spirituality, we often begin to shame others for consuming alcohol. And shame and judgment often stops us from being of service or help to anybody or ourselves. So shame and judgment are never healthy emotions. So let's pull cards. Let's see what we have. So we have meditate and complete contemplate with the new moon in Pisces and a time for healing so this is like a very di like direct message that meditate I know like I think I, I sound like a broken record when I ask people to meditate but you don't know the impact of meditation till the time you actually begin to meditate every single day every single morning and then see how your life begins to change most of us, we start meditating or we meditate for a few days or a few weeks and then we see the results and then we stop meditating and we fall out of that habit and we don't try to restart that habit because of lack of willpower or lack of prioritizing that. And hence, if we just conclude that meditation does not work for us. But that's not true. Find your own way of meditating and find which kind of meditation suits you. This could be related to energy healing, this could be just journaling, this could be playing music or some kind of meditation. But definitely meditate to heal is the message for today. Yeah, so I hope that this made some sense and I uh, this was helpful in some way. And I will see you again next time. Bye bye, take care.